Hey guys, welcome to Thailand once again. It's 9 a.m. in the morning and we are at Aonang Beach in Krabi. We are about to go to Riley Beach and we have started our journey from our hotel on foot and we shall be taking a ferry from here to Riley. For those who are new here, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell icon to be a part of our journey. Now we are at the ferry ticket counter. You can see the ticket counter out here. We bought tickets from here that is Aonang Beach to Riley and back. The tickets cost 100 baht per person for one way and you have to give the tickets to this guy out here and he'll lead you to the boat. So we have to wait because our boat was not yet full. The boat service starts from 8 in the morning to 6 in the afternoon and there are boats at regular intervals from here as well as Riley Beach. That's our return ticket and we have already given our onward ticket. So we'll be going now on the long tail boats. You can see here, one of the boats will take us to Riley. Once on board, we took our seats and actually there are no designated seats for each passenger. You can just take any of the seats you choose. If you want the rear view, you can take the rear or if you want the front view, you can go to the front. And it's basically a wooden boat with a canopy there is a motorized engine at the back and one boatman steers the boat that's it you can see our boat is starting so guys we are right now on the way to Riley Beach and you can see the sights from the boat this is what you get to see from the front part of the boat and this is uh, the view towards the rear end from the front so it's actually over the canopy and you can see there are many mountains to the left side and there are many island resorts as well and you can see the mountains have been eroded by the sea waves it's a very nice sight to see and people are boating out here canoeing or kayaking Beautiful scenery is what attracts you during this ride. The boat ride in itself is uh, an amazing thing and to enjoy the boat ride I would suggest you to sit in the front or at the back from where you can see the natural view. If you try to sit in the middle then you will miss out a lot on this. And that's how the inside of the boat looks like. And here is our boatman steering the boat. Well guys, after a 15 minute ride and a lot of cliff watching from the sea, we finally reach Riley Beach. Well guys, it's time to disembark. Um, this part of the beach is known as the West Riley Beach. The island is actually divided into two parts, West Riley and East Riley. So this is the West Riley Beach and the other part we are going to go that is the East Riley Beach. So we are right now at West Riley and we are getting down from the boat, you can see. So here we are at West Riley Beach, you can see it's quite beautiful, there are rock cliffs, you can see the rock cliffs from here and this part of the beach actually I found to be more beautiful than the other part. The sea is very clear out here and you can swim, there is a designated area for swimming but there is none on the other part because that side is marshland and many mangrove trees are there which I will show you later but right now let's take a walk on the West Riley Beach. For our return journey, we have to catch the boat from here itself. So we need to be back here while we leave. And out here you'll see a couple of restaurants and 
swimming areas for people. The swimming areas have been marked separately from the boat docking area so that no accidents occur. And this is a place to relax actually. We took a short walk, as you can see. But as it was very hot and the sun was up high, we decided to take a walk down the Riley Walking Street, which is a sort of market. And we found ourselves in the walking street in no time. And this is the Riley Walking Street market. It's actually a tourist market for souvenirs. But the items out here are extremely costly. And they price it in an outrageous manner. So if you really don't need anything, it's recommended not to buy anything from here because things out here will get much cheaper in Bangkok or in Krabi itself. We took a walk to the Riley Walking Street Market as we wanted to go to East Riley Beach which is on the other side and there are only three ways to go and this is one of the most popular ways because the market is there and you get to see a lot of things. In this market you will find shops of every kind, almost every kind, food shops, dress shops and everything you want you will get out here but the price of the goods are exorbitant. So unless it's very necessary, it's preferable, don't buy things from here. At the end of the market, the street takes a left turn and we find the statue of a mermaid standing there welcoming the visitors. From here onwards, on both sides of the street, you'll find mostly bars and a few restaurants. The unique thing about the bars out here is they are designed in such a way as to give you a feel of the 70s rock culture. The restaurants too have their own unique design of wood and bamboo. Although this strip of the island is quite new and most of the area is under development still, it doesn't fail to invoke a vibe of excitement among the travelers. After a few minutes down the road, we found ourselves at a place where the road was split in two. The left one would take us to some caves at the visitor center, while the road on the right would lead us to East Riley Beach. And after a few minutes of consultation, we chose to take the one on the left first. This path took us to a steep mountain side where there were many caves at regular intervals and we decided to check a few of them. So let's see what's inside. I'm going in one of the caves right now. Oh, this is a small one. It doesn't go that deep. But still, let's see what's there. Ah, it's just some bats. Nothing else. Ah, let's leave. After going a little bit further, we found ourselves at a place where there was this rock face of a hill and it was amazing. This limestone rock had eroded over the years and there was an amazing formation out here you can see. This is the place, you can see the limestone rock and with all the formations here. And here there was another cave like structure. So we decided to check in what was there inside. This one is a bit bigger than the last one and it looked more intense from the outside. So I decided to go inside and see what's there. But we were short on time so I just stuck to filming from what was there from the entrance and didn't go in deep inside the cave. There were tracks but still I didn't have time to go so I decided to go back. But the structure was 
especially wonderful. We also found a temple-like structure in one of the smaller caves you can see out here. I don't know what it is for, but found interesting. And then after a while, we arrived at the tourist information center, and there was another big cave out here. And this one, you need to get an entry ticket to go inside. But we didn't have much time, so we decided to skip this one. Out here, apart from other things, there was a map of Riley, which we found very important and useful. And we took the tracks which led us to East Riley Beach from here. When we arrived at East Riley Beach, we found it was completely different from West Riley. Out here, the sea is separated from the land by a strip of mangrove trees, and there is no regular beach out here in this part rather there is a marshland the setting of this part of the island is also different from West Riley out here you will find more restaurants hotels resorts guest houses and spas and most of them are upscale this seems more or less like a retreat for the rich By now, I guess you have noticed one thing, that there are no cars or buses in Riley, and most of the time we have to commute on foot. And the roads are also built in such a way, you need to commute on foot, there is no space for cars or bikes or any vehicles. And walking on this part of the island is another exciting thing, you get to see a lot of nice hotels, nice places. And if you want to explore Riley to the fullest, you need to spend an entire day on this part of the island. Otherwise, you'll miss a lot. East Riley Beach is also connected directly by ferry to other parts of Thailand. And there is a ferry pier. You can see people waiting for the ferry. But I will not get boats from here to Eonang Beach, so we have to go to the other side. And we are also very hungry by this time, so we are searching for a place to eat. So we decided to search for one and we thought of eating somewhere in the island and not out here because out here the things are a bit expensive. So we started walking towards the other part of the island and on the way back we witnessed the different natural beauty of East Riley Beach. It was quite different from the other parts as I told you earlier and it was low tide now so the mud was visible from the boat. As we walked past the different resorts, we saw that the mangrove forest, their roots also came up above the water. The water had receded due to the low tide. And it was a different sight altogether. We didn't expect to see such a thing at a seashore. Well, after a bit of searching, we found a place at last which served oriental food. And we ordered Indonesian fried rice as well as an American fried rice. And it was tasty. Was nice. After lunch, we spent some more time at West Riley Beach enjoying the view and the sea. And then we decided to return. It was, it was almost evening, so we thought of returning to uh, Aonang Beach and we took the boat, which took us back to Aonang, and it was a smooth journey. Well guys, that was a trip to Riley from Aonang in Prabhu. So how did you like our video? Please don't forget to mention that in your comments. And if you are new to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe our channel for more videos like this. If you have any queries or suggestions, you could always let us know via your comments and we will try to answer them to the best of our abilities. So friends, till then, have a nice time and enjoy your holidays.